John, many congratulations. Thanks. It got a little bit nervy towards the end, but you're yeah. back in the Masters final for the first time since you last lifted the trophy in 06. Quite a story. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I've never enjoyed semi-finals, uh, Rob. I think that they're, the, they're the worst games because you, you're so close to, to being in a, a big a big final and it's the worst game to, to lose. So, no, over the moon to beat Dave. Dave will be disappointed, I think, the way he maybe played. He, he should have been 3-1 up at the interval and I managed to nick the frame to get myself back in it. And then I think I maybe let him off the hook a little bit when I was 4-2 in front. Uh, but listen, no, I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon to win and get through. And was there any kind of a, a mental hangover at the beginning of the match tonight? Because you played at a level we haven't seen you reach to beat Ronnie for a couple of years. So quite hard to maintain that level yeah. of excellence again. Yeah, I think maybe last, last night my, my concentration was maybe a lot better. Uh, it was wandering a little bit during that match, just because I think you're so close to being to be in the Masters final, uh, but no, I'm, I'm delighted. As, as I say, when it came back to four each, it could have been, it could have went another way. So no, I'm delighted it came out winning. And um, what an opportunity now, because you've gone so close uh, to the world title a few times since you last won the Worlds, which was your most recent Triple Crown triumph. So yeah. there's another big one tantalisingly close. It's nearly 10 years since you've lifted one of the big three. Yeah, and as I said earlier on, it would probably be one of my best ever wins uh, to, to, to win the Masters at, at this age. Uh, so, no, I'm going to enjoy it tomorrow and give it my best. An interesting match-up for so many reasons. I think a few people have pointed out you'd been a pro eight years before Yan Bing Tao was even born. You'll be the favourite for that one, but he has beaten you in your last two matches. Yeah. He's a young man of immense talent and composure, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. He's got a great all-round game. Uh, him and Zhao Yulong, I think, have got the best all-round games coming through for China. Uh, but as I said, I think Jan believes he could win the event. I know he got to maybe... He won the Riga Masters last year. And yes. then I think he also got to... Was it the players of the Grand Prix when he lost to Judd? So, he, as I said, he's served his apprenticeship and he's probably, he's thinking he can win as well. I think I can win, so it should be a good match. Obviously, your focus is on winning, but do yeah. you think you'll have the odd moment or two to savour the occasion, albeit with no crowd? There'll be millions of people watching on TV. That They are the occasions that you guys pick up a cue for when you're, when you're seven or eight? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I watched, I watched obviously, the, 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 big, the big final with, with, with Judd and Neil, the UK, and you, you're, you're obviously a little bit jealous because these guys are competing in these big events. And uh, to be honest, coming down here, I maybe wasn't expecting to, to get the final, maybe. But as I said, I, I went to Championship League, played pretty well there, and it gave me just a, a wee bit of extra confidence coming here. So, uh, no, I'll, I'll relish it tomorrow. Uh, I don't know how many more finals have been like this. It's all cliche, but I'll, I'll certainly go out and enjoy it.